Welcome back to my Wodan Academy channel. Today we have the last episode of the Schwenk und Schwenk Film. I hope you enjoyed all the previous episodes and make sure you know your movements before you're watching this last one. So let's start with the movement. So let's see where we finished off last time. We were here, marble position, then we had the Arpo Tourne, here, then the Schwenk am Doi, and Schübel, and we go into marble position. Now watch carefully what happens next. You turn over with the upper body. See here. Going to Lipu. And now we step. First, Gombo. Step Mabu. Step once again in Gombo position. And then go Shubo. Shubo looking to the front. What is the practical application of the finishing movement? It is common knowledge that in traditional forms we have at the end certain complicated signature movements. And this signature movement can vary depending on each lineage. So don't think too much about the practical application at the ending movements. It's more about the culture and the tradition that is conveyed over with this complex movement. The Schwenkam series always have the ending of turning the hands to each other. There are certain meanings in practical application where you take the arm, you turn over and cross over and block over or stuff like that. But the practical meaning is secondary. What's more important is the signature movement. So first, we are here in marble position. We want to reach long, okay? reach long and go up in Dulibu and step long. Now you have this movement of turning over. So you're holding arm, you're stretching, you turn over fast and make yourself long again. Then you go over once again and from here on you push with the right hand here, this part, to outside and go in Shubu. Watch it in fluid motion once again. Understand? Watch the next sequence. From Shubo, you turn over in circular motion. Together with the hand, then you are here. This movement can be compared to long strike styles. Also, similar movements can be seen in today's Karate, which uh, originally comes from Kung Fu, so you shouldn't be too surprised. So you're coming from here, you're going circular motion and you swing the hands with your inner edge. The thumb stays inside. You're turning here like this. And make sure your body is long, okay? So don't stand upright and do it like this. Make yourself long. Let me show you from the other side. See here. Shibu, circular motion, one. Understand? So now imagine you're striking long. Yeah? Your opponent is kind of blocking because he sees this long strike and it's quite strong because you're using your whole body. After this one, the left hand turns in and cross over like this. You see here? One. Then turn in, turn the body with the core. You're supporting with your hip movement the left hand. Then you're taking the the elbow of your opponent and you're grabbing over like this you see taking and then you're ready for attack once again you step with the right short step you see here push with the right hand and go here like this you see one two and relax and here you finish the schwenk und schwenk form so this movement is a bit complicated, so let's uh, view it one more time. I show you from this angle here. Yeah? So we're coming here, Shubo, step in, one, understand? Now go in, turn over, step right, push, turn, 
same time. Here, and then go in and relax. Let me show you from the other side here. Understand one more time the whole movement from the front. Uh, another additional information could be when you want to finish the foam, the middle fingers want to meet. This is a traditional Taoist ending. So when you're here, you're using, breathe in, go in, the fingers look into the circular direction you're going. And when you breathe out, the elbow drop first, and then the hands dropping. And without looking, the middle fingers meet here. Um, and then you are at a ground and grounded position, okay? You're here. And push down and relax arm. Step close. And this is the finish of the Schwenk und Schwen series. So this means not just in the part one, but also in the part two and three, which is upcoming, we have exactly the same ending. So this was our episode of the Schwenk und Schwen series and with this you finished the whole sequence of part one. The Schwenk und Schwen consists of three parts. So make sure you practice the first part before you advance to the other ones. So today we finish this episode, in the next weeks we will continue with part two. Thank you for watching and always thank you for supporting our channel. If you have questions, leave it in the community forum below. I posted a link below in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you again for next episode. Goodbye.